What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be giving my commentary on Wanda from Love and Mayor Chuntsville, her latest YouTube live. Um, she decided to talk about how she had a great time in Paris and she networked with people who also worked in the food industry, but she definitely took some time out to go in on a couple of bloggers. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. But first I do ask that you please hit the like button on this video. You know, of course I am a new blogger. I have a small, small platform but I would love to share my content with other people who have similar interests, other viewers of Love and Mayor Chuntsville who do enjoy to hear the bloggers commentary on things that happen on the cast of reality TV shows, social media, interviews that they do, and of course the show. Um, also, if you're into natural hair journeys for black women, as well as things that affect Black women in society, like the way that we are often shamed and made fun of, topics such as those, you know, show style and spirit is definitely the place for you. So by you hitting the like button, it will cause more women to connect with us over here. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to show style and spirit. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in. So Wanda was live tonight. I was actually watching um, episode one, season two of Power Book for Force, which is the Tommy spinoff. Y'all know I love the gangster type shows, the power universe. I even read uh, gangster type books, you know, the family business, the cartel and all of its spinoff books. So that's totally my thing. And then something just had me like open up another internet tab, check YouTube, and I got the notification where she went live. So I said, well, let me see what she's talking about. And oh my gosh. So Wanda decided to make fun of a particular blogger who has multiple streams of income selling different products. And um, she thinks it's very funny. I think it's uh, making money. I think it's a part of the American way. But you all let me know what you think after hearing what she has to say. I have a lot going on with uh, my boy. <laughs> hey, hey uh, how you doing? How you doing out there? I hear my name called a lot. I hear my name called a lot over there. They say you you send t-shirts, you sending uh cookies. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, how in the world are you gonna be sending cookies, A <laughs> And they said the cake tastes like your AS. I don't know, that's what they said. They said that cake tastes like AS. Okay. I'm just going to tell you, I, I'm sorry. They said that case uh, tastes just like um, <laughs> S-H-I-T. I, I don't know. I don't know. So it tastes just like your, they said that's why you was made with all the bloggers. A lot of bloggers because they said they was, they was talking about that case. But now you're out there scanning, talking about some uh, t-shirt. And for you guys, <laughs> for you guys that don't know what I meant when I said scan, scanning, Yep, I said scan because that's exactly what he's doing. I said scammer. I said he was scanning. And when I meant, like, you know how you get something, you run it across the machine and it's scanning. That's what he was doing his people. That's what he doing his people. He's running them across the machine to see which one is the wicked link. But he ain't paying for it, y'all. He's not paying for it. He's just, he just doing it. I got time tonight. So if y'all ain't got time, go to bed. Go to bed. But I got a lot to talk about tonight. I've been gone for a whole month. She has been gone for a whole month. And she had a lot to say indeed. So um, as far as someone selling multiple items, I don't think that's really a read. I think that that is smart. Um, if you have ever listened to celebrities who are multimillionaires, a lot of them speak about having multiple forms of income. I know Candy from the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta says it all the time. She always says having multiple streams of income. And then some people will say, 
say multiple rivers, you know? So like um, you may have a full-time job, you may have a rental property. And then like I, I sell bedroom candy and I'm on YouTube, you know, it's, it also involves when you do things that you love, a lot of those times it can turn into money, you know? So I think that that's quite normal. I know plenty of people who are W-2 workers, you know, they have full-time jobs and they have a catering business. I know lots of people um, who definitely have various businesses in addition to their jobs. That's quite normal. So I think that she thought like she was making fun of what he was selling, but a sale is a sale indeed. So um, as we all know, what we have seen multiple times, um, Wanda, she doesn't really like for people to critique her or her daughter Tisha and now because she seems to be very chummy with uh, Marceau um, she doesn't like it when people critique him as well so she you know can pretty much give her rebuttal on her YouTube channel but she does not want you speaking on her and again, I've always said that for people who are on reality TV shows, they're public figures, it's quite natural for people to report. Even if you're out for the big, big celebrities, if they are walking their kid at the park, you know, paparazzi is going to get, you know, a picture of that. So even on a smaller reality TV show level, you're a public figure to many, many of us. So it's quite normal for people to give their commentary on things that relate to you. And I'm not sure why this is such a huge problem for her, but it definitely is. Hmm. Um, this guy had the nurse say that, but um, uh, he can't say no cookies, he can't say no t-shirts, he can't say none of that. And his scenario, other people's over there <laughs> um, agreeing with him. Why y'all still talking about me? I just want to know. Why are y'all still calling my name over there? And this man laughed. Why? I haven't talked to that man in the last five or six months. Has it been about six months? No, I'm going to say six months. I mean five or six weeks. weeks a month and a half. I must struck a nerve, y'all. But I, I, again, I have to say, like, you're the public figure. So then bloggers give their commentary on the show and, you know, on the behavior that's, that's shown on social media. And then you don't like their opinion on what you show us on your social media and on the show when you were on the show. So I just don't understand, you know, the, the very high sensitivity you know, when it comes to people's opinions, because there's also like you want to adopt kind of like the Beyonce view of it, just paying people dust and not paying anyone any attention and just ignoring them and continuing to do your thing. Focus on your seasoning, focus on your social media platforms and just don't worry about what the bloggers say. Right. But there is more, of course. Uh, Wanda also decides she's going to do some math for us, y'all. This, buckle your seatbelt, okay? We're gonna go for a ride. And also I want to point out that the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary of uh, these sound bites are allowed. And I'm giving my commentary on each of them. And of course, everything said here is alleged and opinion and for entertainment purposes only and please hit that like button but um yeah are y'all ready for some wanda math uh definitely get your pencils and paper out and let's see what numbers you all come up with i didn't never get back around to it i heard a lot of y'all talking about it say oh she don't know what she doing she talking about he over there scanning like she at walmart somewhere no he act like he at walmart somewhere and he's scamming y'all stupid ass people y'all dumb folks to come over there to jump on the slide and go behind the walls. <laughs> that right there was a big scammer. Now that's a scammer. That's a scammer. But the scanning part is when he say, oh, well, I need y'all to go. So now he over there scamming so we can scan her. Okay? See who we can scan. Okay? He over there scanning to see who we can scan, I must say. Yeah. Yeah. He over there scanning to see who we can scan. So, because, you know, <laughs> we had people down here in Huntsville was doing that. <laughs> 
the Super Bowl, they can scam her. Okay, yeah, they can scam a lot of people. They can scam a lot of people. But um, that's what old boy doing over there. And y'all so slow and dumb, y'all go pay y'all $5. I think he got up to now 16,000 um, subscribers now. So he's looking at, he can make at least $40,000 off of you guys. And then everybody like, Wanda, how can you make $40,000? Easy. Let me break down the math to you guys. Let me break it down. If you got 16 subscribers, y'all, 16 subscribers, okay? 16 times 5 is 8,000. Thank you, y'all. 16, yeah. 8,000, 8,000, okay? That's 8, eight not 8,000, but 80,000. $80,000, okay? Yeah. 16 times 5 is 8. Okay, yeah. Camera boo. Yes. So, if you got 16,000 subscribers, and if you only can get half of those subscribers in, you don't need the whole 16, just half of them. So, he's standing and trying to see what half can he get. And he's going to do it again. And now he's doing his math. That's when he becomes to scam y'all. Okay? That's when the scam is coming in then. That's when he becomes to scam you. Okay? So when he's scanning you guys, he just said, what? Now he out there counting how, many, how much money he got. It's just like when you go in a store and you scan your items. And you keep on scanning your items until the money come up to the end of the to the end of your last scam that you got. Now you know how much money you got to pay. Okay? So that's what I'm saying to you guys. Now that you know how much money you got to pay. So his total came up to whatever. I'm just going to go ahead. So if his if total came up to now, oh man, I got 8,000 people. Hmm, that's $40,000. $5 a person. $5. So he's standing and he already know. Okay? Okay, let me school y'all a little bit. Okay? <laughs> let me school y'all a little bit. Now he over there making t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and he over there making t-shirts, y'all, with cookies <laughs> and talking about me. He over there making t-shirts talking about me. This man is on, I don't even think about him. I haven't thought about him six weeks ago, y'all. When I said what I said when Uncle came in, I was done talking about that man. It's two of them. It's two of them. It's him and this other lady. <laughs> This other lady, y'all. Let me tell you. So we're going to get into that other lady. We're going to get into that in a moment. But I do just want to point out a couple of things. Number one, you know, she's trying to count this blogger's money. You know, she's so worried about the fact that, you know, he has created a membership and people, they pay a fee to hear exclusive information that he has about the show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I think that that bugs her that um, he has sales skills to where he can sell his memberships and people are okay signing up. Um, one thing that I think is great about the blogging space memberships is that it's not an astronomical fee. It's not like a car note. It's even cheaper than entertaining yourself at the movies. And you all know that I love going to the movies. I love the whole experience with the reclining seats and you can get, you know, liquor at the theater and like snacks. I love it all. Plus the movies are great. So um, to entertain yourself from the privacy of your home and just pay, you know, a membership, a monthly fee, that's even cheaper for people that way. So those are the benefits of having the memberships. And I think she in her mind has done the math or someone actually pointed that out to her that, you know, oh, he has the potential to make 80 grand a month if every single one of his subscribers paid $5 a month for the membership. So that's just blowing her mind away that um, a blogger can be so profitable off of a reality TV show. But that is just being enterprising, Miss Wanda. That is just being hardworking and smart, Miss Wanda. So, um, you know, don't hate, but congratulate, you know, set up a membership yourself and, you know, come up with some content that you would want to share that way. Then the other thing that I wanted to point out is that she actually called any subscribers, you know, who would 
sign up for the membership stupid and dumb. And of course, that's not nice, right? And and that's being judgmental because they are signing up for information that could possibly be a reflection of, you know, your daughter and son-in-law, then they have to be stupid and dumb. But if it was, if it had absolutely nothing to do with your fam, Miss Wanda, I'm sure you could care less or you would probably think, oh, wow, that's a cool membership. They get all that info for just the $5 a month. You know, that's that's her perspective because of who it involves. But again, her daughter and son-in-law, they definitely choose to be on a reality TV show. So, the, you know, that makes them, you know, kind of open to scrutiny because the g gossip blogs are going to comment on what they see from the reality TV stars. That's just basic math. All right. So then let's get into this quote unquote other lady that Ms. Wanda started talking about. Um, what I want to do this time, instead of giving like an intro into her soundbite, I just want to play her soundbite and then I'll come back with my commentary. It's two of them. It's two of them. It's him and this other lady. <laughs> this other lady, y'all. Let me tell y'all about her too. <laughs> so then we'll get back to my birthday thing when I came over here to do. But I got to talk about these two. These two psychos, they some real life psychos. And I don't blame the people that did leave food with him. They should have left a long time ago because it's ridiculous the way this man handled things. <laughs> call me what you want to call me, but I'm telling y'all the truth. This man is crazy. And um, he got a friend that worked down here in Huntsville. Um, the little monkey, yeah, I see it. The little monkey, <laughs> Chip Chip, <laughs> Chip Chip was in a was in her car, y'all, and decided to run out of gas, being a nose. <laughs> she was in her car, y'all. She got a big balloon car, okay. She was in her car with her old, but no, she should have been at home in the bed since she said she ate something. Should have been at home in the bed. She chose to go out there running up behind somebody trying to see what's going on with their courts. I, I was not here to see it, though. Someone sent this to me, and I fell to the damn floor laughing. She was up big and like, a, like a, what that man name is saying this song? Please, please, let me ride that pony, pony, let me ride that pony, please. But that's when she was on the big, y'all. She was over there big. <laughs> We're gonna be on here long. I already been on here 20 minutes talking about two people I didn't want to talk about tonight. But anyway, um, she was on the big of the money. She was telling her subscriber, if y'all want me to, to do to do y'all will, and I'm out here going places here and there, giving y'all information. God damn, least thing y'all would do is give me some money. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. When she asked for some money, y'all should have unsubscribed the turn right then and there. Because they use like the person to make themselves look good. It ain't that they they out there doing something because they want to do it or because they making money to do it. She know she making money on the side, but she still want y'all to pay, just like her friend. Hey, hey, he still want y'all to pay, regardless how much money he's making on his YouTube channel. He still want you guys to pay. It's all about money in this game. This thing, if it ain't if it ain't money, it ain't money. Okay. If it ain't about money, it ain't funny. I'm telling y'all. You y'all can laugh all y'all want to. But if it ain't about no money, it ain't funny. You wouldn't even know a wonder <laughs> if it wasn't for a hey, hey, over there making money, make, trying to make a joke, make things funny over there. He's making things funny over there. <laughs> okay, so she felt like uh, the one blogger was begging when she said, you know, the Zen Garden case will be on Monday. And if you all want me to go to the courthouse to get the tea, I ask that you all please make donations to cover my gas. I do think that that is fair, Miss Wanda. So I definitely disagree with you. The reason why I think that that's fair is because Miss Black Titanic, her coverage is so unique because she is local to Huntsville, Alabama. So she does have the um, advantage and the flexibility to be physically in spaces that relate to the cast of Love and Mirror Huntsville. 
So she's just asking that her expenses for gas to be covered. You know, like that's not going to be your average coverage that you would see on my channel, right? Because I'm all the way in the north. I'm not anywhere near Alabama, not by a long shot. So Miss Black Titanic her coverage and her way of covering stories related to love and marriage Huntsville is more unique because of her physicality and her proximity to the cast. So um, also, yeah, you wanted to almost age shame um, Miss Black Titanic and saying, you know, she was in her 80s and should have been in the bed. Well, um, I think that that's a blessing. Oh gosh, I just I just hope and pray to God that he'll let me live to be in my 80s. I think that would be wonderful. And um if she's on a fixed budget, I also understand her wanting to get donations. So I totally uh disagree with with your commentary, Ms. Wanda. And um she actually her memory is long when it comes to people who I think um hurts her feelings or she feels embarrassed, but will never say it. You know, we've talked about this in previous videos, like she doesn't have the nerve to really be vulnerable and say, you know, my feelings are hurt when people talk about my speech. I think that her defense mechanism is to come out swinging. And so she actually remembers a specific subscriber who um, enjoys the show, enjoys speaking on panels. And um, I feel like she's almost trying to stir up like a division between the, the viewers of the show and the bloggers who give their commentary. An allegation behind clause. Go back there and listen, and then come right back and get it free. What sister to make? What sister is make besides making him rich? If y'all want to make him rich, go ahead. But I'm stupid. <laughs> I ain't give every dime of my money count, baby. I make sure every penny counts. Okay? I'm not gonna let drop now. Quarter on that floor and don't pick it up. And I ain't gonna let nobody make no A out of me. And then talk about me like a dog. If you don't do it, you're gonna be talked about. Cause he damn so did a number two like that. Mama, whoever her name is, he was talking about her so good. He was just so good with her at one while. And next night I know he's gonna talk about this woman like a dog. She ain't no lawyer. But damn, that's the same lawyer that was on his page when I was on there. That's that same lady. Somebody help me out and help let me know that's that same lawyer. She is a lawyer, but now she ain't. She lost every page she had. That's what he said. That bitch lost every page she had. She ain't no lawyer. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Say it, but it's true. Ain't no way to worry. I can understand you falling out with one person. Maybe two. So um, she brought up the subscriber and um, she brought up a blogger as well. And she was, I think she was trying to trigger people into saying, oh yeah, you know, he did fall out with her and, you know, just trying to get all of us to enjoy the show and enjoy the commentary that we hear here on YouTube. I think it was just an attempt to stir up dissension. But for everyone watching this video, you know, let's all just continue to enjoy watching the show and continue to enjoy listening to the panels. You know, it, I enjoy hearing the speakers talk and, and share their life experiences and give their opinions. That don't bother me. So, um, you know, I always felt like when Maurice did his blogger awards live on Instagram, I always felt like that was an intro to their family you know, trying to do like a low key divide and conquer. And I definitely think that that what she just said was an example of that. It could be on a very minimal level where like you may not notice it, but it still could be like a seed that she tried to plant. You know what I'm saying? So let's just all just continue to enjoy each other's conversation on these panels and, you know, don't even don't even trip. So, um, there was like another, you know, comment made about a blogger's channel. And um, this isn't anything new. We've heard similar comments made about other channels. So I just want to play this soundbite and then come back with my commentary. It's alleged, yeah. Everything I'm saying is alleged, y'all. But hey, it is what it is. I want him to come for me. Take me to court. Seriously. I am so 
for real. I want him to take me to court. As soon as we get them lawyers, because they bet, I'm telling you right now, he's going to need to take somebody to court to get his money up because these other people ain't playing with him. He going down. Y'all think I'm playing. His whole page is going down. Yeah. He disrespected a lawyer and the lawyer order. So he going down. Yep. And I'm not going to say a legend on that because I know for a fact he going down. I know this for a fact. Period. Thank you, this is a joke. And all y'all on there agree with him. If you got a page, yours coming down too. Y'all was the one that said it. That's all I'm going to say. Messing up to one of these stupid stuff ain't worth the baby. Because everything, people going to come to you with all the mess. But when it comes to come to court, and stand up in court, they ain't going that route with you. They not. They not. They're going to let you fall that fight, uh, fight that fight by yourself, baby. Yeah, you're going to fight that fat fight alone. And ain't nobody going to court with you. Period. Watch. They just. Okay, so she is referring to when um, their lawyer sent a cease and desist to this particular blogger, and um, his response was to talk with the attorney about the cease and desist, and he shared that conversation with his subscribers. And she feels like because he, quote unquote, disrespected the lawyer, now there's going to be like some sort of retribution. And then she even said that everyone that was on his panel that agreed with him and has a channel that their channels would come down. That sounds very almost like a dictator. You know, where where is the free speech? Free speech gets lost in the in the midst of all of the alleged threats and i do want to just remind everyone that there was another blogger she used to threaten her and you know claim that she was going through the courts to try and silence them about speaking about one of her relatives that's no longer here unfortunately and she was threatening that their channel would disappear as well. And then after a few months, she said, well, this person hasn't spoken about me anymore. So, you know, I'm good. So um, I feel like just for the sake of just, you know, you want to keep your peace and not even have to deal with her and her lawyer. I'm sure this blogger, if they choose to not talk about her anymore, then in a couple more months, you know, it'll be a thing of the past. Now, also during this live, after that soundbite that I played, she was saying, you know, after September 16th, when the show starts back, someone may not have a page, you know? So it's, I feel like, it's a very harsh and aggressive way to just deal with people's opinions about you that are not favorable. I mean, literally, from the moment that we're born, people, you know, are going to have judgments about you. Even if you have siblings, I grew up in a large family. It was just, it was, I felt like it was always something, whether, you know, I was like too shy or I would be told that I was too sensitive. And, you know, it would always be a million opinions. I remember like when I went to college my freshman year, oh my gosh, they were all emailing me. And don't forget to turn off your hot stove. I didn't even have a hot stove in my dorm room. It was just like, be sure to do this and do that. I was like, oh my gosh. So we're going to always deal with people's opinions, even if they are totally in left field and incorrect. But I feel like, you know, she wants to stifle and silence the bloggers when something is said that she does not like. And I just I pose the question, where is the free speech? Where is it? Help me find it. So, y'all, please let me know in the comments what you all think about Wanda's latest live. And please hit the like button on this video. Um, I definitely I played it back twice and collected the sound bites and, you know, spoke from my heart, of course. So if you hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. And I will talk with you all soon and take good care. Bye bye.